it's just been amazing how everyone has pulled together and really worked hard to keep our patients safe and our staff safe. Everybody pitching in, everybody working together, everybody trying to be right there on the front line doing the best they can, even though it might not be what they do on a normal day. I did have the fear at the beginning, you know, back in a few months ago, but now it's not a fear anymore. I just walk in, I ask God to give me the strength every time I walk into the room, and, and I'm okay with it. When I come into the building, I still feel the same. I'm here to do a job, and I'm here to help as much as possible. We're here to support the staff 110%. I love the people that I work with. They are amazing people and do great things. Our focus has been the right thing. It's about how do we take care of our patients in our community. I have been assigned as part of the proning team. So the proning team is a new group of people that we've put together in our ICUs to help our ventilated patients that are COVID. We turn patients into the prone position for a period of time and then turn them back into the supine position uh, for another period of time and fortunately we did see positive outcomes with patients. We have had loss of lives and you know you get to hold those hands of those patients and sometimes you're the last person they see and you know the faces of those people like they kind of just stick with you. I'll be their hands to hold their loved ones in their, in their time of need. It's really profound. It's, it's an honor to be able to help someone know that their loved ones cared for. We understand that people die, but you know, just sometimes when you, you see it, you know, so up close and so much more frequently, it just, it's gonna have an impact. I think uh, there's a lot of trauma that, that's gonna come from it. You know, just um, the, you know, loss of friends, family, staff. It's so tragic, what we've seen and what we've gone through and losing patients, it's really hard. And you know, you go home and that sticks with you. What hurts me more is the living, and that's what always gets to me, is how are the living going to walk tomorrow and think about this moment? Is this moment going to be okay for them? We are all in this together, even though sometimes we feel, you know, we're just so isolated um, within the walls of the hospital, but it truly is um, a whole community that's pulling together. I cannot say enough about the nursing staff. Um, they, these are some amazing human beings, but plant services, environmental services, the housekeeping people, everybody, everybody has been in this building working as a unit for the good of the patient and for the best outcome for everyone. It was a desperation to really take care of people and a sense of urgency. But I think what's getting through the tragedy and the difficult times is the fact that we have really come together as a family and we take care of each other. 